dance, and then we'll come back and entertain them. <laughs> Kayla doesn't An see Irish me. dance. Four housemates have started or they've stared into Big Brother's nomination abyss and three more are about to wither under his invisible gaze. Right now, it's body of a Greek god Galen's turn to nominate. Last week, he nominated Michael and Camilla and tonight he is nominating, for some reason, wearing Katie's hairpiece. Galen. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, for two points this week I nominate uh, Mikey. He's starting to really mope and get really depressed around the house. I know he wants out of here. It's starting to reflect in the way he acts socially around the group. He's just pulling himself away. Um, it also shows in the way he contributes to various things around the group. Galen, uh, around the house. if like, a housemate wants to leave, they're free to do so. Why are you nominating him? Because I think Whatever he's got going on the outside is reflecting in his attitude in the way he, he's not putting in the tasks he never really has. It's not really any of our problems, but um, I, draw, I base my vote on his participation with the group and his participation in helping out in chores and stuff like that. And so, what are you saying about that? You're not being clear. I'm saying if, he, if he's not putting in, I don't believe he should be here. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, one point I nominate Anna. Um, I find Anna really childish, um, she's, the way she talks, the way she acts, she's always got something to say, she yells the loudest over everyone else and if she doesn't get her way she sulks um, and to be honest I'm not really ready for kids so she's also one I can do without. That is all, return to the lounge. Not tonight, though. Not now. Katie, to the diary room. Oh, Katie, I'm early. I'm here. The boys are about the glitter. Oh, sorry. Did you do the face? Hi, brother. Katie. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um. Man, I thought it'd be easier here. Yeah, I was gonna wing it. Um, Dino, yeah, because sometimes he, I think his um, jokes are a little too harsh for me. Um, he's funny as, but um, yeah, some of his jokes aren't very nice. I don't think, and it can put others down. Katie, yeah. you're not being clear. You're wasting your time. Oh. Why are you nominating him? Um. Because it, um, his jokes can hurt people's feelings, and I know some of his jokes have hurt mine before, but, um, yeah, that's it. That really is it. Have you confronted him about this? No. Why not? Because that's how, who he is, and that's how he is. But I'd pr prefer to be in the house with people who um, don't, like, put other people down for a joke. Who do you nominate for one p point for eviction, and why? One point... Mikey, because um, he he's really hyperactive sometimes, and um, which is really good. But um, he also doesn't want to be here. And to me, I'd rather be with people who want to be here because he can be hyperactive one time. And like today, he was really down. He wasn't into it, and you can just tell he didn't want to be here. And it suppresses my fun levels as well. So um, he can leave when he wants. Yeah, but he won't. Um, you know how Mikey is, he's just, he won't give up. Like, whereas I'd be like, <laughs> I'm done. He will he'll be like, no, nah, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. That's not in his mind, he wouldn't give up no matter what. But I think it could be time for him to go. That is all, return to the lounge. I think Katie's changed since she got married. <laughs> Don't you? Completely different person. Okay, Michael is halfway there. Four people have nominated him. 
No one seems to raise the question, if it's that urgent to get out, why do you have to wait to be nominated to leave? What an odd house. Now it's newlywed super doofus Jamie's turn to, like, you know, nominate. Now, last week, he nominated Michael, and we do love him, because he didn't trust him. And if you remember Jamie's sauna conversation, he was appalled that Michael would use poor little rich kid Reuben as a tool to get sympathy. So something tells me Jamie will add to the insider's vote tally. Jamie, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I'm going to go with two points for uh, Ash, for a change. Um, I think that he might just be on a little bit of a different level to most of us. He can't really have the same sort of conversation as most of us. He also can make people feel You're not nominating for us. You're nominating for yourself. For me. It's um, a cop out. Get to okay. the point. Um, he's hard to have a conversation with. He makes me uncomfortable. He keeps me awake at night sometimes and sometimes can get in my face a little bit. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? One point um, for Mikey. Um, once again, he's, um, sometimes his jokes go on a little bit too long and makes me feel a bit sort of uncomfortable. Sometimes I'm looking for other people to help me out of those situations. Jamie, so, yeah. don't just keep saying it makes you feel uncomfortable. Okay. Explain why you're nominating. He's um, overbearing um, and too excitable. What are you trying to say about him? Um, he doesn't ever know when to stop a joke and um, yeah, it's, it may, it's, it's overbearing and it makes me want to leave the room a lot of the time. That is all. Thanks. Well, Ashley and got two points there and Michael got one. And that is actually exactly the same voting that Jamie did last week. But now they've got an excuse, of course, to nominate Michael. So let's have a look at the tally board, see how we're going. Michael has six. Ashley has four, Anna has three, David has three, Dino has three, and Camilla has two. Now remember, eight people have to nominate my Michael. It's not just that Michael gets eight points. So there we have it, seven nominations gone, five more nominations to go. Will Michael reach his eight-person tally? And if he does, what will happen with his, with his three-point twist? Possibly he'll get his knickers in a knot after the break. We call the latest big brother of Vic D, Karen, to the nomination stage. <laughs> Anna, game on moles. Karen, you looked away from the dot. That's a five thousand dollar fine. <laughs> sat down to put a shoe on and he saw me obviously. I think he sees everything. I don't know why. <laughs> welcome back to Big Brother's Live nominations and now would you please welcome last night's Vic D. Karen. Welcome. Now what time did the interview start this morning? Uh, I think about six. Okay and yeah. what was the big question everybody was asking um, you? The boob jobs. And what was it about the boob jobs? Um, mainly why I let my 19-year-old daughter get a boob job. What was your reaction to that question? Um, I don't think you let a 19-year-old do anything. I think at 19 they pretty much make up their own minds what they're doing. Yeah. Um, I certainly tried to discourage Crystal from doing it. I think she was perfect the way she was. But she was pretty adamant and she went ahead and did it and I supported her decision. Isn't that funny that people would think, because she can legally vote, she can legally do everything across the country, but they felt you were responsible for mm. the boob job. Yeah. Mm. So that was your big impact on the house. Yep, <laughs> how apparently. Did you, how did you feel about that, that all of those weeks, three weeks were reduced to that? Yeah, um, I thought it's a bit shallow. <laughs> 
But yeah. your experience was richer than that, wasn't it? Yes, definitely. Good. Now, you're going to help us through the nominations, which we have to get cracking with. Okay. Now, it's John's turn. Now, he hopefully will shine in the diary room. In previous nominations, he's been a beacon of clarity in that diary room, and three of the people he's nominated 